you mind talking with me for a moment? Sure. About why you're here? Okay. Could you tell us why you're here? I'm here because we are urging, no matter who wins this election, that that candidate support H.R. 3053, which is a decriminalization of HIV AIDS in the act of a crime. What's been going on is that people, have, the police have been accusing people of spitting on them that are HIV positive and jacking up the jail sentence to like attempted assault and felonious kinds of things because of their HIV status. The is, law is clearly not following the science. Is spitting a way of spreading HIV? Spitting is not a way of spreading HIV. Tears are not a way of spreading HIV. Even biting somebody is not a way of spreading HIV. So this is criminalization is, is a bad education about a health issue? Criminalization is poor public health. It is very poor public health. So you can't have the public health system and the police system at odds with each other. How do you feel about safe sex and condoms? Absolutely believe in safe sex and condoms. So it's not about being against sex, it's about being against unsafe sex. It's, I'm not even against unsafe sex. The science shows that if people are taking medications, they can lower their viral load to the point where it's not transmissible. So what Wait a minute, you just said something I've never heard before. Okay. HIV is not transmissible. Under what circumstances? Sometimes your viral load can be undetected. The virus, the HIV, can be undetected in a person who's been diagnosed as being HIV positive. That means that the HIV disease is so weakened that it cannot transmit to somebody else. That means people have to be put on medication. And that's because of medication? That's because of medication. Thank you. Are, okay. Who are you with? Are you I'm with Terry smith Cronia with Housing Works. Thank you. Okay. Can you